Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I'm here with Alexis Sanderson. She is nine years old. Uh, she has quadriplegic cerebral palsy. She can walk with two hands pretty well, really well with trunk support, or not so well with one hand held. Um, she is on a Riften tricycle, and this introduction better be short because she is ready to go. Um, I love this tricycle. It is really nice from a variety of perspectives. It um, allows someone to be behind and steer her. Um, one of the things I just did was I adjusted. I like when their leg is in the fully extended position for their leg to be as straight as possible. Um, so let's just give this a ride. You got both hands on, you ready? Let's give a good clear look of everybody. So even for children who cannot push with their legs, I still like this tricycle, yet we're going out there, hold on with two hands. Um, because it helps, it's like a fun way to do range of motion. Um, but for Alexis, she can definitely active assist. <laughs> Alexis, you need to be holding on with two hands. You, which way do you want to go? You see all that stuff? Okay. So we encourage her. Um, she uses her right hand. Less. Alexis, let's go right so everybody can see us better. Uh-oh, Alexis, are you holding on? We can't go. Get both hands on both hands on. All right, Alexis, can you show them how you can pedal all by yourself? <laughs> Alexis, uh, this is ex clearly exciting. Um, the more movement she gets, the harder it is for her to hold on with her hands. Alexis, uh-oh, both hands need to be holding on. Both hands. This tricycle does come with a chest harness that you can use. Um, Alexis does a better job holding on if she's closer to the steering bar, so we don't use the chest harness for her. Plus, she's got reasonable trunk control. With just the seat belt, she's safe. So downhill is easier for her. Uphill takes a little bit more work, so I'm going to help a little bit more on this one. Let's go, Alexis. I love how with this stick I can steer, I can hold on to in the back. So I love, this is an option to have as the steer, rear steering bar. I love it. This is a, a great tricycle. I also like the Discovery tri tricycle, but this one's a little bit more cost effective um, and just love it. Le Alexis loves it too. To get a child in and out, you can just put on the brake, which is really nice. And um, if you need to flip this up out of the way, you can flip it out of the way if you have to go to one side or the other. This can attach going to either side of the tricycle. Um, but to get her out, the easiest way is to undo the feet. I have nice straps to hold the feet down, so uh, a lot of my kids cannot maintain their feet on there without assistance. And you undo the seat belt. Like I say, she does not wear the chest harness. We could undo the chest harness if she had it on. And one of the things you can do is loosen up the handlebar, flip it up out of the way so it makes it just a little bit easier to step in and out. Ready, Alexis? Show them how you can get down. There you go. The other adjustments that are on this tricycle are the backrest with these screws back here go up and down. And with this, you can raise and lower the seat just to make it fit a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Alexis, hold on. I hope this is helpful for you. It's a great tricycle. It's by Riften. It's their Riften tricycle. I hope it's helpful and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.